In programming languages and type theory, parametric polymorphism is a way to make a language more expressive, while still maintaining full static type safety. Using parametric polymorphism, a function or a data type can be written generically so that it can handle values identically without depending on their type. Such functions and data types are called generic functions and generic data types respectively and form the basis of generic programming. For example, a function append that joins two lists can be constructed so that it does not care about the type of elements. It can append lists of integers, lists of real numbers, lists of strings, and so on. Let the type variable a denote the type of elements in the lists. Then append can be typed for a a, a times, a to, a where, a denotes the type of lists with elements of type a. We say that the type of append is parameterized by a for all values of a. For each place where append is applied, a value is decided for a. Following Christopher Strachey, parametric polymorphism may be contrasted with ad hoc polymorphism, in which a single polymorphic function can have a number of distinct and potentially heterogeneous implementations depending on the type of argument to which it is applied. Thus, ad hoc polymorphism can generally only support a limited number of such distinct types, since a separate implementation has to be provided for each type. History. Parametric polymorphism was first introduced to programming languages in ML in 1975. Today it exists in standard ML, OCAML, FHash, ADA, Haskell, Mercury, Visual Prolog, Scala, Julia, and others. Java, Chash, Visual Basic, Net and Delphi have each introduced generics for parametric polymorphism. Some implementations of type polymorphism are superficially similar to parametric polymorphism while also introducing ad hoc aspects. One example is C++ template specialization. The most general form of polymorphism is higher rank in predicative polymorphism. Two popular restrictions of this form are restricted rank polymorphism and predicative polymorphism. Together, these restrictions give predicative pre-neck polymorphism, which is essentially the form of polymorphism found in ML and early versions of Haskell. Higher ranked polymorphism. Rank 1 polymorphism in a pre-neck polymorphic system. Type variable may not be instantiated with polymorphic types. This is very similar to what is called ML style or let polymorphism. This restriction makes the distinction between polymorphic and non-polymorphic types very important, thus in predicative systems polymorphic types are sometimes referred to as type schemas to distinguish them from ordinary types, which are sometimes called monotypes. A consequence is that all types can be written in a form that places all quantifiers at the outermost position. For example, consider the append function described above, which has type for a a, a times, a to, a. In order to apply this function to a pair of lists, a type must be substituted for the variable or in the type of the function such that the type of the arguments matches up with the resulting function, type. In an impredicative system, the type being substituted may be any type whatsoever, including a type that is itself polymorphic. Thus append can be applied to pairs of lists with elements of any type, even to lists of polymorphic functions such as append itself. Polymorphism in the language ML and its close relatives is predicative. This is because predicativity, together with other restrictions, makes the type system simple enough that type inference is possible. In languages where explicit type annotations are necessary when applying a polymorphic function, the predicativity restriction is less important, thus these languages are generally impredicative. Rank K polymorphism for some fixed value K. Rank K polymorphism is a system in which a quantifier may not appear to the left of k or more arrows. Type inference for rank 2 polymorphism is decidable, but reconstruction for rank 3 and above is not. Rank n polymorphism Rank n polymorphism is polymorphism in which quantifiers may appear to the left of arbitrarily many arrows. Predicativity and impredicativity. 
predicative polymorphism in a predicative parametric polymorphic system. A type containing a type variable may not be used in such a way that is instantiated to a polymorphic type. Predicative type theories include Martin LOF type theory and then UPRL. In predicative polymorphism in predicative polymorphism is the most powerful form of parametric polymorphism. A definition is said to be impredicative if it is self-referential. In type theory this allows the instantiation of a variable in a type with any type including polymorphic types, such as itself. An example of this is the system F with the type variable X in the type, where X could even refer to T itself. In type theory, the most frequently studied in predicative types lambda calculi are based on those of the lambda cube, especially system F. Bounded parametric polymorphism. In 1985, Luca Cardelli and Peter Wegner recognized the advantages of allowing bounds on the type parameters. Many operations require some knowledge of the data types, but can otherwise work parametrically. For example, to check whether an item is included in a list, we need to compare the items for equality. In standard ML, type parameters of the form are restricted so that the equality operation is available. Thus the function would have the type a times a list boolean. It can only be a type with defined equality. In Haskell, bounding is achieved by requiring types to belong to a type class. Thus the same function has the type in Haskell. In most object-oriented programming languages that support parametric polymorphism, parameters can be constrained to be subtypes of a given type. 